Smile, we're live. Hello. I feel like way overdressed for what I usually am for live feeds. You're, you're sitting here in sweatpants. Well, I can't see that part. I mean, don't give away all my secrets. Oh, you're in comfy pants and a jacket. You'd be fine. Anyways, what's up, everybody? We are, uh, it's been crazy. I'm back from Texas. Uh, I don't even know what, what, what else happened? Who else in here? Red Dog. Red Dog, sorry, buddy. It was an absolute worldwide whirlwind while we were in Texas. It was crazy. I apologize. We didn't get a chance to uh, catch up while we were down there. James, Roy, Paul, uh, Rogue Excavating's in here. How you doing, buddy? I seen he, uh, I think he let a video out today. Did you buy a new grader, Rogue? Is that what you end up, uh, um, is that what you end up getting? Dirt Brute, uh, Barn 6180. How, what, what's up? How's everybody doing? How are you doing? I'm fine. I've been back for a week. Have we even talked since we got back? We barely talked while you were gone. Whose fault is that? Yours. How's it my fault? So, Melissa is from Australia. I want to go to Australia so bad. I'm having squirrel moments tonight. You are. So, we went so fast and then bing, 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 bing. There's people on here. I want to talk to my people. Oh, yeah. I sound like a uh, dirt boss now. Talk to my people. Uh, anyway, so we had separate vacations this year. Yes. You went to Florida. Are you awake over there? Yeah, I'm listening to what you're saying. I feel like you're daydreaming. Okay. Uh, I we might went, have been. Um, what were you daydreaming about? Oh my gosh, I don't know. This sounds like an interesting conversation. I don't know. You're full. Oh, look, Neil says you look beautiful tonight. Oh, thanks. Uh, anyways, why am I so distracted? I don't so, know. I went to went, Florida. With you the went kids, to Florida without me. And, and the you kids. went to Texas with your friends. No, I think I went to Florida with the kids. I had Officer Hoover and Farmer Chris. I had to uh, I keep think, track of um, They probably kept track of you. There's Farmer Chris right there. Slow down and drink that seat. <laughs> So, I know, right? He needs to breathe. He's talking real fast. I know. I'm all fired up for some reason. I don't know why I'm all jacked up on caffeine. But uh, Farmer Chris can vouch for me. We get is Officer Hoover on here. We get Officer Hoover out of the state and out of uniform, and he's like a big kid. It's exactly like you. Really? Get you away from the job, and you act like a giant child. But uh, we went down there and visited Muddy Feet Concrete Pumping, Muddy Feet TV. Uh, we got to meet uh, Eric from Texas Barn Dominiums and this guy named Andrew that has this amazing, amazing uh, blacksmith shop. Um, it was colder than a well digger's hind end down there. We about froze our butts off. Somebody was nice enough to pack for me and uh, did not pack anything warm enough. Okay, you're going to Texas. I didn't think it was going to be that freaking cold. It was it was warmer here than what it was in Texas. Well, I, I assumed it would have been warmer and, in Texas. Um, and I told him, I bet there's a gas station. If your ears are cold, go buy a hat. Like, hmm. Ohio Valley Pond and Excavating. You're getting an AMI, right? So I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I don't think I led you down the right path. Ohio Valley Pond and Excavating. That makes you feel any better. I'll let the cat out of the bag. I officially own the AMI Ruckus Rig. I, I, let, I bought it myself. Um, I actually, we used it yes, no, Friday quite a bit. Uh, I do love the rake. It takes a little bit of getting used to because it's got so many functions on it. It's very well built. It works very well. I think you'll be extremely happy with it. I know we're happy with it. I ended up selling my old Harley rake to uh, Ed from Full Tail Grading. Full Tail Grading is on here. It was a good rake. It was a good rake. Um, it just the AMI is a better rake. It does a lot more things. Somebody wanted to know if we found the GoPro. There is a link to Mrs. Dirt Perfect's video for the search for the GoPro. So if you guys want to. Uh, yes, with the metal detector. <laughs> Farmer Chris says it's funny you mentioned the well digger. So I don't know if I told you this part, but we went to the Muddy Feet TV compound. The neighbor was drilling a well, and we're all sitting up there grilling. Well, they were grilling. I was just sitting up there because they won't let me cook. Yeah, but you don't uh, need to. Uh, anyways, uh, the well digger got stuck. And. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. There's like five guys with GoPros up there just staying, watching them bury this truck in the mud. And uh, yeah, he ended up leaving his truck. If he would have left the key, we probably would have got it out of there for him, but he didn't leave the key. So, Mr. Earl. Mr. Perfect, did you say he could buy it or did not? Did you not? Buy what? The, the, rig, the ruckus rake. Oh, I don't even know. That's his thing. Out of the mind. millions of dollars of equipment I own, I think there's only one piece of equipment she knew I was going to buy before I did. Which was? The truck. 
Oh, the new truck. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only one I knew he was going to buy. Everything I'm else. Wrong. I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. Everything better. else I didn't know about. And like, I will see things parked on the job and I'll be like, when did you get that? I've had it for like three years. I don't know if it's quite that bad. It is. So, uh, Thomas, Josh, how you guys? Paul, uh, love the green Mac. Thomas, appreciate that. That was a truck we built about uh, about 10 years ago, I guess. That truck's hey, pretty old. So somebody asked if I got the metal detector back. You want to tell them what happened the other day? Yeah. So I wake up at like 3 o'clock. Okay, first of all. No, 3 o'clock in the morning. On. I you asked me to tell the story. I, know, no, I put the metal detector in its cute little carrying case, and I couldn't figure out where I wanted to store it at at the moment. So the quickest thing place I thought of was to just slide it under our bed. So that's what I did. So now she slides this thing underneath the bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I hear, <laughs> like, what? Is there a walrus dying underneath our bed? What is going on? Hey, but. You forgot to turn it off. And she's you like, used so it she's half asleep. She's like, turn off the metal detector. I'm like, where's it at? Uh, have you ever put tags on the white truck yet? Nope. Uh, they're sitting. I'm pretty sure I saw them sitting in the dash. So they're no. in the truck. They're just not on, on the, the truck. truck. Is that who you want to know that? No, uh, Brian, 6180. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, you need to start saying hi. Everybody's saying hi. Clayton. Hey, Douglas. Sorry. Hey, Josh. Hey, David. Hey, Samuel. Hunter. So this, um, what was it? Lefty's Garden gave us a metal detector. Gifted, gave who? Gifted Mrs. Their Perfect that's a right. metal detector. It came in my and, name. Uh, my name. Uh, anyways, that's the first time I've ever used a metal detector in my life. So it's quite and a curse. If you watch the video... Did you see how fast he was moving? You're easy now. You're going to smack me in the face. Like, I don't know how it even had a chance to beat. But. We found, but, so they gifted us the, the, uh, the, 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 metal the, detector. the, the detector thingy, the thingy of a bomb, yes. which yes. is actually a pretty nice one. Yeah. So after cool. watching a few YouTube videos, learn how to use it. Cause that's what you guys do nowadays is watch YouTube videos yeah. to learn stuff. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we went metal Excuse detecting. Me. Excuse you. So, uh, anyways, so quick things. Uh, Thanks, Scott man. Scott mentioned the uh, podcast channel. Uh, dirt, oh, dirt, well, dirt, perfect. E -e 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 -e. Hey, we do Mike. have a we do have a podcast channel now. It's called hey, Mike. A Few Points from hey, Perfect. Hey, local crew. You think they're local to here? Mm. But uh, we have a podcast channel now. It's called A Few Points from Perfect. I think there's six or seven podcasts up there. We actually recorded a podcast with. Uh, Farmer Chris, Officer Hoover, and Jeff from Muddy Feet Concrete Pumping while we're here in Texas. They'll be up after the first of the year. Um, hey, did you know that you put the sensor thing backwards on the... Um, somebody pointed that out to me. When you put the metal detector together, you put it on backwards, and then I shut it off to go find batteries and came back and it was magically put together the right direction i didn't know but several probably. people have told me that it's probably because i watched youtube while you were gone probably uh chris haters man check it out go get go get the cup up there does mrs dirt perfect need a cup too well so, i would love a cup chris haters I almost stole this one chris haters is here in the comments and uh he's the guy you see in my videos from time to time driving the uh, red dump trucks and he's also in a bunch of upcoming videos um of uh, helping me on an icf basement and i tore a house down for him. but look what he did man he gave me this cup can you guys see it dirt perfect youtube fifty thousand subscribers and that's got my name on the back of it so huge thanks to uh chris Sanders, man i really appreciate that that's pretty Very cool pretty cool pretty cool little gift and uh yeah this is mine not mrs dirt perfects because just like the cooler that hyundai gave me it's got my name on it i can always add names no, Mrs. Mrs. Mike Simon. Mike no, Simon. there's only. One. I do like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, James, who listens to the podcast? Apparently, about seventy or eighty thousand people in a short period of time. So that's what we have on the channel. I don't know. And then he says, "What is a podcast?" A uh, podcast is meant to be listened to and not watched. Now, ours are right now posted on YouTube uh, because we don't have them on a streaming service. Most people go to a streaming service to use them. But uh, like the other day, I was hauling dirt and I listened to a podcast uh, while we were while we were doing that. So uh, the thing the thing about a podcast platform 
is there if you guys answer me ask me questions about my background or my thoughts on something i can go into great detail on there and not bore you guys with a video so if you guys want more in-depth stuff you need to go to the podcast channel and uh check it out so did i answer that fair enough yeah and if you want to know anything like if you have questions yeah. comment on one of the videos and he'll uh try to get them answered for you in the next podcast yeah i see a couple of you guys commenting on here that you've been to the podcast channel and you've uh hello tony how are you been to the podcast channel and checked them out we've seemed to be getting pretty good reviews on podcasts we've had a little bit of uh issues with some audio in the earlier ones but we're getting it uh we're getting it worked out bud we're getting it worked I, out. um thanks there Brute. i like them because i can listen to them um and not well i don't i'm not very good at watching the video your would, videos but um i laughed really hard at the last one because josh um knows a lot about you yeah he does the last one we just posted was with my business partner josh and it was a pretty good one uh where was it at uh ryan yes i did i even commented on that video with big and life 21 but uh thanks Ger what's his name where geraldo geraldo i was gonna call Ger him geraldo gerardo gerardo thank you buddy <laughs> um mark thanks um so we do have a pretty cool podcast coming up with the one and only oh is mine coming up uh it's two way i think probably come up around christmas well guys i'm gonna warn you now um, somebody dropped the f-bomb somebody dropped the f-bomb somebody should not have done that because there's lots of people that listen and i was just a little bit fired up and i should that was done my it. goal that was my goal the whole time so was I'm, just to keep so i'm apologizing and it's just basically mike and i bickering a lot so if you dig it's that you typical know, typical stuff <laughs> uh sydney hi uh chad brian What's that? What's Brian say? That I haven't been on the podcast. I could tell you how to go broke and smile all the way. <laughs> Brian was sixty-one eighty. We'll have to get you on there. I got. I, actually, you're on our list of uh, possible podcast contenders. Um, we got uh, Devil Trucking Vlogs, Devil Dog Trucking Vlogs. Oh, Thank you Doug, so yes, much. I am going to be on a podcast in a couple. Uh, I don't know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. We will definitely, definitely do that. Uh, Ed, full tail grading. How hey. are you doing, buddy? We were just talking about you being the recipient of the uh, the Harley rake. So Merry Christmas to you too, Jason. Man, we got comments flying in here. I know. Can you keep up? I'm trying to keep up. I can't. Uh, William says I wish you could listen to your podcast, but I can barely keep up with your videos. <laughs> There just aren't enough hours of my day to keep up with podcasts. Oh, that's why I don't. That's one reason why I don't post videos every day because I feel like I can uh, keep a better. Uh, I feel like I can keep a better flow going. The videos give you guys time time to watch them. Brad, how are you? I'm gonna see if I can get. Uh, hold on here, just a second. I'm gonna see if I can get a link to the. Uh, oh no, he didn't. But I was told it was somewhere near. What's that? Farmer Chris wanted to know if you handed over the check. Oh, he told me about it. I did tell her about it, Farmer Chris. So I know it's in his hands at some somewhere. The uh, where uh, where is uh? I oh Paul, I did feel like I slapped him, or I said something, or I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that after I said it. <laughs> I wasn't fired up at him in the podcast. Was I was awesome. fired up about something else. It, it was, was awesome. Slipped. What, uh, what I'm getting mean? a link. Just stay <laughs> there. Just, just stay there. Hey, from England. England. We know people live in England now. Peter Brown lives there. Does he? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Catherine. She's getting some links for you. Is she? Yeah. Catherine, you are so good. A few points from Perfect Podcast. That's what I was trying to get, Catherine. You beat me to yeah. it. Thank I'm you so sure much. I'm pretty sure she posted up here. At the, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, so Catherine Elaine, thank you very much. She just posted the links to um, Merry Christmas, Thomas. She just posted the links to the few points did 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 a few points from Perfect Podcast. We post one podcast right. a week. Usually, it happens every Sunday, 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 Sunday. So tomorrow we'll have another podcast up. It uh, should be up and uh, should be up and ready to go. Hello, from Tennessee, Thomas, local crew, Joy. How are you from Oklahoma? Joy, we were actually in your state uh, Sunday. We come home through Oklahoma via Texas. So, Andy, how are you doing? 
Cuba hey, Mountain. Bob and Big Al. From Maine. That's another place I wanna I wanna visit. Maine. Are you doing a basement for Jason Works a lot? Uh Neil, there's um possibly we um um there's a lot of turning things in there uh works law had to fill you in on that but if he ends up building our area well we end up doing some bucket uh todd reynolds man i <laughs> todd reynolds was on a live feed with nutsy and uh, i was at the bowling alley so i couldn't really talk oh. a whole lot but it was good seeing you on the live feed nutsy isn't on here but oh, paul honeyman says yes you know some people from england dp i've followed you long enough <laughs> <laughs> i kind of thought about that after i said it because <laughs> There is a lot of people in from England to follow me, but uh, actually I have um, a brother-in-law and a sister-in-law and a niece. In no, Sioux. not a brother-in-law. He's a your stepbrother, step-sister-in-law, <laughs> He's your a niece and a future niece or nephew on the way that live in England. So, yes. Uh, Mike, top secret project. We are actually making. Um, I can't keep up with all these. We are. Hey, Dirt Boss, how you doing, buddy? Seen you snuck in here. I just I started off this live feed with my people, and I said that reminds me of you. Anyways, that was totally off subject. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I? At? Oh, so if you guys know, we got the uh, we got the six by six, uh, we got the six by six dump truck project coming. Corner of Lewis, hi from Central Indiana. I will be in Central Indiana tomorrow. I'm actually traveling two hours north of here with the old 120 in tow. To dig a basement. So, old Dirt Perfect's going to be on the road tomorrow. For head, a head long north. time friend. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, it's my uh, roommate from college. Yeah. Which we've known each other for almost well, 20 years now. I went to college in 2000. Oh, my gosh. You're getting old. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Oh, my gosh. The first time. I, no, it wasn't the first time I met them. Never mind. You haven't known him for 20 years, but I have. No. One of the first I, times you met him was, was their at wedding. the wedding. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the first. Is that the first time I met Allie? I don't think so. I think we've been there. Muddy feet concrete pumping. What's up, know. buddy? It was very early on in our relationship. That's what I do know. It was the what they call the good old days. Good old days. Rogue, that sounds like fun, buddy. If we can meet up sometime, we'll go round and round. I got about 600 horses underneath the hood of mine. And works a lot can vouch. I can run 80, and I'm pretty sure it'll go faster if you tell me to back her down. <laughs> so, what are we um, driving? To where? What are you talking about? A rogue excavating. He's got a 6x6 six six dump truck. He wants to race Oh, it. I saw 6x6. Six six. I don't know the lingo. I don't know what that means. Well, keep up with the times, girl. Ah. Uh, Muddy Feet Concrete Pump is in here. We had an awesome time in Texas, buddy. We got you over 10,000. Hey, I want to go to Maine sometime. Kirk, about I know. You need, to, you need to apologize to Jeff for not going down there to visit him. I told him that you didn't want to go. That is not true. This is true. No, it's not that I did not want to go. Our children were on e-learning almost the whole time he was gone. I wasn't going to put that, which means online virtual day, not going to school. So I couldn't put that on someone else because it's hard enough with two children doing that, a fourth grader and a kindergartner. Neil says, have you ever thought about building a new shop at the Derby Market? No. A new shop at the Derby Market? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, one shop's enough. I don't need two. Yeah. I like. We don't need another one. I like having my. I like. We like the shop here. Did you say that out loud? I like it here because your children can come out here and yeah. see you. Yeah. If it I was do somewhere like, else, we'd have to travel to get there. Who wants the, to do that? the the shop, the first time, if anybody's never been to my shop and they come to my shop, the first thing they do is open the door and they're like, wow, this is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Muddy Feet says just come down this summer. That, that's a better option. He's got an awesome place down there. But anyways. It's a better option. We so everybody thinks my shop is way smaller than what it looks like on YouTube. 6x6 <laughs> six six is the same as a 4x4 four four with more wheels. <laughs> Why do you think that's so funny? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation, Paul. That really helps. <laughs> My metal detecting is not going well because somebody took it from me to find the GoPro. I didn't even get a chance to run it. Wait, I'm trying to talk about my shop. Here. I'm sorry. I'm this trying is to my catch life up. You keep taking over. I'm trying to catch up. You're slowing yourself down. All right. uh, Hammerhead 740 wants to know if we got the boom to stop squeaking. Yes, but stay tuned because the pin we worked on was not even the problem. <laughs> So, would you guys, uh, 
What did you guys think of that video? That was just kind of a. Did you even watch that video? I don't watch any of your videos. It had man behind the scenes in his underwear. It had Jason works a lot watching TV. It was crazy. It was a crazy video. A video. Okay, first of all, why was man behind the scenes in his underwear? In the well, shop? he filmed it twice. In the shop? Actually, he filmed it twice. No, he filmed it three times. And the first three, first two times, he was naked. I'm like, dude, you got to put some clothes on. We had to blur that out. You should go watch the video. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. Um, our Tony, kids what's up? Are, um, we are in a hybrid model right now, which means they um, are virtual for three days and they are in the classroom two days. Devil Dog says, you remember having the shop here? Wasn't that you that was complaining about the... Uh, we actually talk about okay, this. Okay, yes. I we like, actually talked about this in depth on your podcast where you dropped the F-bomb. I don't even remember what we talked about. All right, so anyways, back to the whole shop. Deal. I know. I like it and don't like it. If it was more soundproof, it'd be much better, but it's not. It's and it is what it is. It's perfectly soundproof. No, it's not. I love having a shop here because I can be out here working. The kids can be out here. They actually come out here and work with me quite a bit. Yeah, they do. And I can go inside and have supper with the family. Even though the it's more like I bring it to you. Even though the uh, uh, even though the office or what we call the office, the dairy market property is like two miles away, um, it's still not as convenient as just being being right there. So, yeah. uh, Derek Boss, yeah, I seen Digging Lives Twenty One's video. I actually ended up commenting on it. That was pretty good. I actually liked the um, I Dig It Four video. He did one too. It was uh. It, it was pretty good as well. I think I liked that one better, but they were they were both pretty awesome. So I love the fact that I don't watch your videos. I used to watch all your videos. Then they got really long, and then they got to be every other day, and <laughs> I just can't. It's it's kind of like me and Logger Wade. I don't watch Logger Wade's videos because I live most of them in real life. Yeah, I do, however, listen to his podcast because I need to know. Um, Car crushing cowboys in the house. He went. I'm telling you, car crushing cowboy. You're saying cowboy, it backwards. Cowboy car crushing. Yes. That is Wade's long lost brother. I'm telling you, we met him in Texas. We got him over ten thousand. And uh, cowboy, I was gonna tell you, I was gonna message you the other day. Um, I watched the video where you had the. Uh, I think it's titled "Not My First Car Fire." <laughs> and me and Cleveland, we were laughing pretty good at that one, buddy. That was a good one, and I appreciate the shout out where you uh, put our name on the big limousine. Seen that as well too. But uh, if you guys make it over to Cowboys Channel, uh, my video of choice would be not my first car fire. It was uh, it was pretty good. He said he was running out of puppets. <laughs> hey Jason, we actually spent a little bit of time in Key West before. Did we? Yeah, William. We went on that cruise. We oh. stopped there oh, for yeah. a little bit. I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of South. Uh, I don't know. She wants to go on vacation south. I want to go on vacation north, and that's why we take several the vacations. Be the beach is my happy place. Don't act like we do that all the time. This is the first vacation you have missed, so don't even, and don't make it a habit. Uh, William Jones, we're kind of doing the hybrid schedule here, aren't we, with school? I just said that. Not oh. even. Did you? I said we're in hybrid right now. Oh, I thought you said we're in hibernation. <laughs> hybrid? What? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, uh, Devil Dog Trucking. I've just uh, I've been subscribed. I is it I dig it for I four dig it uh, for a while, but I haven't watched a whole lot of his videos. But I've actually watched a few of them here and there. He's actually got a uh, he's actually got a pretty good little channel. I think he's just now going full time, if I remember right. Uh, dig a Live Twenty One's got a lot of good stuff. See then, you, William. William, heading out. See you, buddy. Chris, how are you do? Uh, how did how did we meet? I tried to chase her off with a stick and I got tired of swinging. Jenna sent you an order for two sweatshirts. Haven't heard anything. Max, you you ordered two sweatshirts? Is that what you're saying? Uh, the uh, the Dirt Perfect one has been crazy. It has been crazy. And I'm just, I am doing the best that I can to keep up with everybody. And I'm going to try to get everything out uh, What did we Christmas? send out? Like 50 or 60 orders the other day? I have been to the post office a bazillion times with boxes of orders. So yeah. our shelves are about empty, guys. Yeah, we are. We are about out of stock. But uh, actually, uh, the whole story about how her and I met is in the upcoming podcast. So you guys have to go over to the... Uh, Who said that, Max? Something? Yeah. You guys will have to go over to the uh, Few Points from Perfect uh, channel. Subscribe there, Max O'Bear. Uh, Few Points from Perfect. Go over and check that out. 
Uh, it'll be coming up pretty soon. Hey, I've made it this far. Max, Max or Mac? It says Max on here. Okay. I've made it this far. You know what I haven't said yet? I don't think he's got an order. Devil L. I know. I see it pop up every once in a while. <laughs> I keep ignoring it. Hoover actually bought Devil Al's little brother, and it is riding around on the uh, it is riding around on the dash of my dump truck. So, yeah. But anyways, what do I do for a job, Mrs. Perfect? I am a preschool teacher. You learn them kids. Mm -hmm. She can teach everybody's kids but ours. True statement. It is crazy. True statement. Give me your kids. I'll teach them. Don't give me my own. I can't do that. Uh, yeah, if anybody's wanting any Dirt Perfect stuff, go to DirtPerfect1.com. Uh, we're getting very low on inventory, and it's getting pretty close on whether or not we can uh, – whether or not we can make I, some yeah, I shipping have, deadlines for Christmas, but we still do have some stuff left. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the best I can to get everything. I'm going to work on shipping orders out tomorrow. Sweatshirts are pretty much out of stock. We still got some t-shirts and we still we got, got some hats. Yeah, we got t-shirts and hats. Hoodies are out pretty much. I mean, I have very few sizes left in those. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, hey, Matt. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Matt, how are you doing, buddy? Matt Plummer, 136. You keep an old man behind the scenes drunk. Everybody wants to know whenever man behind the scenes is coming back. Uh, if I had to guess, he'll probably be back around the uh, first of the year-ish. Uh, I'm not for sure. He was supposed to be back already, but they ended up having another emergency. As if you guys don't know, he is a boiler maker by trade. So he's been working in the powerhouses here, getting everything up, up and going for the winter. And uh, he should be back. I'd say he'll be back for the first year and be back for a couple months, and then uh, he'll have to go away again in the uh, in the springtime. But uh, we're uh, he'll be back. Don't you worry, he'll be back. He comes out every once in a while. We just haven't had time to film anything. Um, what am I missing on here? I feel like there's all kinds of comments. Know. Upstate New York, Mark, how are you, Andrew? We've been pretty fortunate with our immediate family. We haven't had, we know some people with the virus, but we've been able to avoid it. Um, I don't go out a whole lot. I pretty much stay to myself. Yeah, he's outside working. By yeah, himself. you're, I mean, I'm, you got more risk of it than me being at the school, but uh, we've been virtual, Stanley, how are you? in learning, and now we're hybrid. So we're kind of doing a little bit of everything. Aaron. Uh, so one thing we're going to talk about in this, um, Neil, how are you guys, Mike? So one thing we're going to talk about uh, this virus reminds me is uh, most of you guys know we were talking about doing a YouTube meet and greet, some sort of big gathering here in Derby in March. We had a bunch of big channels on board to come in, uh, Logger Wade, Let's Dig, uh, Andy Harmless Farmer, um, Neil was going to come down, Tractor Time with Tim was invited, had a bunch of people uh invited to come down unfortunately i think with everything going on with the virus and everything we, uh, we discussed this with hot hot sot metal works and a few other ones i think we're going to have to push it off we may leave the door slightly cracked open for doing something this fall we'll see how things goes but it's probably going to get pushed yeah, off a year we got to get the virus under control before uh, we i just hate that. to go through a bunch of trouble it, it takes a lot of time see you cowboy it takes a lot of time to um plan these things and I hate to put a bunch of effort into it for it all to get canceled. And I got a feeling rightfully so should people should be nervous about traveling. Um, and, and March is only a couple months away. So uh, unfortunately I think our YouTube meet and greet is going to be pushed off probably year at minimum to at the minimum to the end of um, 2021. Well, um, People are saying how the virus is in their area. It's hit Perry County pretty good. We're just yeah, it's fortunate here. enough it's to here. not There's no have doubt. It There's no doubt I mean, that it's here. That's why we've been virtual so much. It's been taking out some of the teachers and stuff, so it makes us short staffed. Yeah, it's uh, we like I said, we've been fortunate to keep it out of our house, but we've got uh, neighbors that have been affected and some friends that have been affected, and uh, it. Uh, so yeah, I it's. Yeah, IUC, ICUE is scheduled for September 28th and 30th. Um, I will I would plan on being there as long as everything's still a go. Hopefully by then everything's opened up and going again. And that may end up being our fall meet and greet is at the ICUE show. 
He doesn't uh, know how to comment on a live. Do you know how to? Um, just right there where it says post a comment at the very bottom. Um, so whenever we get, um, maybe maybe we'll do it next March. We're going to do it. I promise you guys, we're going to do it. As soon as this virus gets out of here, as soon as everything gets healed back up and everybody's comfortable with uh, checking, everybody's comfortable with uh, traveling again, we are going to do it. We're going to have a big YouTube meet and greet. It's going to be a big deal. Everybody's going to have a good time. I promise you. Unfortunately, with everything going on, um, I just don't think we can pull it off. No, um, not yet. Trust me, I'm as disappointed as anybody. Um, um, I'm as disappointed as anybody. We're not going to be able to do it. So, um, but we'll keep you guys updated. Stay, uh, Chevy guy, how are you? Stay, um, stay tuned to um, my social media. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, I'll probably put community post up on YouTube if we have any any updates. Um, ICUEE is in Louisville, Kentucky, as far as I know. Catherine can possibly confirm that, but that's where it's been at in the past. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the update for right now. Um, I, I wish I wish I had better news for you guys. I really did. I, I had high hopes that we'd be able to do this thing in the. Uh, in the spring, they've already moved the farm machinery show and uh, a lot of other things being kicked around. So, uh, like I said, I'm as disappointed as anybody. I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. I thought it was going to be pretty cool. And uh, unfortunately, I just don't think we're going to be able to swing it. It's just uh, too many, too many, um, too many unknown variables. But. As far as I know, I have full intentions. I have every intentions of being at IUCEE in the fall. Um, so maybe I'll be able to meet some of you guys there. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, the World of Concrete's actually got moved till October as well. Depending on the schedules and how things work out, I may even try to go to the World of Concrete if possible. Danny Sites, holy cow, buddy. Uh, that is way, way, way too generous. Denny. Uh, Denny, Denny, I'm sorry um i appreciate that man thank you thank you thank you thank you you don't feel obligated to have to do that but it is greatly greatly appreciated i'll make sure i get me a few pepsis and get her a nice cold water <laughs> okay uh tony lives in clark county kentucky 40 minutes away yeah you're not very far at all there tony um yeah it's uh uh, Neil, yeah, we got, uh, I got, man, I got all kinds of cool videos coming out. Um, there's just been, it's been insane. There's just been so much going on. Uh, uh, full seal grading, as far as the Florida auctions go, I have not heard they've been pushed back yet. Uh, we do intend to go down there if it's feasible. Um, so, um, good night, Byron, 6180. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. Um, yeah, see ya. Uh, but it, uh, we, we, we have intentions of making that trip, but just like anything else, it's just kind of, uh, I hate to say it, but it's almost the last minute deal. Just kind of wait and see what happens. Um, Devil Dog Truck, you said I should upgrade your water to some wine. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but, look, uh, Mike says a case. Of wine? Not just a bottle. Okay. I'll tell you what. I asked her whenever we went live, and I asked her if she's going to drink enough of these. She'd like me whenever it's over with. How we doing? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah, Kurt, it seems like uh, Rogue Excavating come on the floor to bid me up. I'm broke. I have no money. <laughs> it's not going to take a whole lot to, it's not going to take a whole lot to uh, outdo me. Uh, local crew, I did go up to the Louisville auction. I did not go to the actual auction. Uh, my buddy Matt did. I went to the preview day, and I was there early. They didn't have a whole lot of stuff. Uh, if you know that, it's pretty much a junk auction. You can find some good stuff. I had, I did buy the C8500 at that auction. Every year I've went, I've bought something random time to time. But uh, I just like to go up there. And Actually, me and Gunner went up there, and the whole cool part about that day uh hope cool part about that day was just spending some time with the gunner matt catch you later buddy thanks for stopping by yes info at dirtperfect1.com that is correct yep max that'll that'll that should get to her so um doug white what 
Doug says white or red? White. Uh, Matt, how would you compare the size of your 312 to your 120? I've never actually read the specs on a 312, but uh, I have operated oh. both. I would say the 120 is just uh, about that much bigger. It's, it's got uh, the power is pretty consider considerable, but the reach is much more on the 120. The 120 has got a lot more reach. I'd say close to two feet, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I never was uh, Stephen. Thank you. I never was a big cat 312 fan. I don't know why they just kind of felt awkward to me. And every time I went to run one, my, my the handles were so far in, they were into my legs. I don't know. It was easy. It was weird. Uh, Marvin, thank you. How are you? Uh, hey, Chicago Joe. Chicago Joe. Who's Chicago Joe? Uh, right oh. up there. His name. That, hey. think, you think he's from Chicago? I'm thinking not. He says from Sumter County, oh. South Carolina. <laughs> so, <laughs> thinking I, not. I guess that answers that question, don't it? <laughs> uh, oh. Marilyn the Richie Brothers is online. Keith L. Uh, Keith L, 60 uh, subs by 2021. I don't know if we'll make that or not. What are you at right now? I don't know. I think, no, I don't even know where I'm at. Probably 54,000 ish, probably. Oh uh, my gosh, I keep you on. Yeah, I'm not putting you to sleep on No, that? I don't mean to. I'm sorry. Goodness gracious. Fat Dan, how are you, buddy? Uh, yeah, the different breeds, the 312s can have different sticks, short stick, long stick, just like, uh, just like any of them. But, uh, I don't know what it is. Something about the booms on those. I just always found them a little weird. Uh, uh, what are we going to do more go-kart racing? We usually race the first Saturday of every month from April to October. So we're done till we're done to probably April. Gunner's got him a go-kart next year. He's, uh, um, he's got a, he has a little go-kart. He's got Daddy an actual go-kart. A, a big go-kart. Uh, Travis says we're at 54,300 subs. So, um, yeah, there we're. I don't know if we'll. I doubt we'll make sixty thousand by the end of the year. What we're, other businesses do you own that we don't see? Uh, I sold most of them. <laughs> we're closing them down. We sold the development business. Yeah. Uh, so excavating used to be third on the list. The first business used to be um, construction. We did high end custom home builds, and then. Um, what was the second one? the dirt perfect or not dirt perfect but uh, Simon Harris development we had a bunch of rental homes and yeah. properties and then uh sold most of that off and we're down to um excavating in youtube yep across the river in st louis mr mike fix it how are you doing buddy uh yeah i'm looking forward to getting gunner out on the uh uh oh yeah he wants to go fast <laughs> and wants to go doesn't he yeah Oh, it makes me nervous. So, Stephen, yeah, I'll be, uh, if you guys seen the warranty video on the uh, 120, uh, there's still, that's, that story's to be continued. There's still more coming on that. So, uh, <laughs> stay tuned, my poor 120. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an adventure, let me tell you. Are you alive over there? <laughs> you are yawning, burping. <laughs> That was like a hiccup. You do realize like that 530 a, people can see you right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leave me alone. I didn't mean to. Oh, so. uh, Rick, do I still have the stadium seat business? I don't actually own part of the, I don't actually own that business, but I still am involved with that business. What business? SNS seating. Oh. Um, so that's a whole, yeah, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother YouTube channel. Well, that's a whole nother conversation. There's a lot going on there. I've been been a lot of places, done a lot of things. Um, it's uh, I don't know. Oh, they did he miss it? What's the name of the six? By we six? do not have a name for the six by six yet. We still do not have a name for the six by six. We got uh, the mayor, grasshopper, out for service, out oh. of service, and uh, I don't know. We're still Gomer. Going. Gomer, I don't know. Oh, God. Here we go again. You've taken my name out of the mix. Gomer was your name? Well, somebody said it, and I agreed. Mike, the 120 name, work in progress. I cannot complain about that machine. That machine um, that machine ran for seven, 8,000 hours with no 
issues at all. Why don't you have Simon Concrete and Excavating shirts? Who wants we, ha we haven't had those shirts. I haven't had a Simon's Concrete and Excavating shirt. That, so in if you over guys, 10 years. If you guys don't know. Oh, my gosh. Alan. Alan. Holy awesome. cow, buddy. Thank you. You guys. That's <laughs> awesome. You guys are too much. We'll, uh, we'll spend that one on the family. Thank you, buddy. You thank you. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, Simon's, back to that, Simon's Concrete and Excavating. That, that is, was before Simon and Harris. And yeah, Simon's Concrete and Excavating is my original excavating company. It was the very first company I ever found. Like 13 years ago. Uh, it's the, still the company I operate under today. So Dirt Perfect is a DBA, a do, doing business as um, uh, Simon's Concrete and Excavating is the actual legal company. It's a boring logo. It's not very fun. Dirt Perfect is better. I just can't. I can't believe Alan. I know. That's pretty Thank awesome. You, Thank, Thank you, buddy. Thank you. You guys are too, way Gore. too kind. See, Donald agrees with me. So, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think there would ever be a need for a Simon's Concrete and Excavating shirt. We call it Simon C&E Concrete and Excavating. Neil, go over to DirtPerfect1.com, and uh, I'm pretty sure we got 2X hoodies and T-shirts left. So. Yeah, that may be one of the few sizes we have, have left. Yep. I think I got some hoodies on sale for 18 and 20 right now, and T-shirts are like 15, I think. So, um, Jason, order them soon, and if you want them by Christmas. Yep. Jason says well, we should be on TV like Discovery or something. I don't know. I'll be honest with you guys. You know, Wade was on Wade was on Axman on the History Channel, our neighbor. I'm not for sure I'd take a TV deal if I got one offered to me. I enjoy this. I enjoy being small and interacting with you guys and kind of having control of everything we're doing. Uh, I know that probably sounds weird. What's your thoughts on that? I, I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> That's not even something that I, I know, uh, even think about. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's weird enough to me to know that 50,000 people, almost 55,000 people want to watch your face every other day. <laughs> I can't get you to watch my like, face Like, I day. love you, but I <laughs> Oh, that's but, nice. But I just, it amazes me that you have that many people. You'll find out in the podcast that I didn't think that was going to be a thing for him, but you know. SOT Metalworks, what's up, buddy? Whoop, whoop, whoop. He's already posted his video from Texas. I watched it today. Yeah, well, uh, I agree, MCF. You know, we were um, kind of talking about somebody made the comment up there. They wish we'd be on TV versus YouTube. And um, after kind of seeing Wade's experience from the backside of things, you know, being on TV and doing my YouTube thing, I don't do this. Greetings from Germany. Hey, Christian. I don't. I don't do this YouTube thing to uh, make money or be famous or anything. Honestly, I enjoy this. You know, just kind of hanging out with friends and uh, having a little bit of a community. So, um, well, YouTube is like people's TV anymore, anyway. Yeah, I uh, yeah. So um, yes, James and TV. I, I wouldn't say TV, TV spins people the wrong way, but TV definitely puts their spin on things. Um, hey, Brad says I need a GoPro. You need a GoPro? You can even use your phone. I do well to edit a video on my phone. RB, you guys. Happy holidays. Look at Holy you. cow. You thank guys you. don't have to do that. that. You guys are awesome. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We. Yeah, I'm, I'm blown away. You've made him speechless, guys. I know. If you notice, uh, it's not something he knows how to do. Yeah, that don't uh, that don't happen very often. So, but I yeah I enjoy like I said I'm not on YouTube to make money. I'm not on YouTube to get famous. I'm not on YouTube to say look at me, look what I do. I'm just on YouTube to I think what I do on a daily basis is interesting, and I want to share it with you guys. And I enjoy sitting here talking back and forth, hanging out, having a good time, um, communicating. That's mm -hmm. um, you know there's no there's no underlying or ulterior motive in what anything we do. And I can 100% can control what I put out there. You guys see me win. You guys see me fail. You guys see, you guys see, you guys see everything. So um, I don't know. It's one of those never say nevers until it's in front of you. Let's face the facts, guys. The chances of us getting a TV deal slim to none. So we're talking hypothetically here. But um, if that opportunity ever come. I don't think I would just, uh, I don't think I'd jump on it like most people think we would, especially after seeing 
especially after seeing a Wade's experience. Wade didn't have a bad experience by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I don't know. I'm just I like doing what I'm doing. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. And I'm happy all you guys out there watching make it possible. So you guys make it fun. That's why I keep doing it. So uh, Russell says, what about the new Ruckus Rake? Uh, it's it up, one of the upcoming videos. I loved it so much, I ended up buying it. <laughs> so I now own a Ruckus Rake. And from Full Tilt Grading, which is in the comments here, he actually bought my Harley Rake. And uh, he actually bought my Harley Rake. And he's been, I think, I, I, Ed, are you still on here? Have you posted any videos with it yet? Um, but it was a good rake. It'll be it'll be a great rake for Ed. I just like the Harley rake or the Ruckus rake. They had some options on it. My Ruckus rake didn't. And um, oh, thanks, Sot, Mister Dirt Perfect over here didn't really act like he did. I'm what, glad you, you all did. You didn't go to Texas with us. No, I said that we missed you the whole time. Oh, we did. Yeah. Sot, are you lying? I just said you didn't, but everybody else did. I think I missed you like once or twice. You hear I, think, I think Miss SOT missed you more than anything. She was stuck with all the guys. She probably did. Uh, what is that, MacGyver 100? Why there's so many ponds in your area? I get that question a lot. I have no idea. You still other. haven't gotten your hoodie ordered on Black Friday? Oh, my gosh. Who? Is it shipped out? Yeah. Logging Daddy. That is the shipping department. Long and daddy. USB, yes, everything is shipping super slow. I apologize. I have shipped everything. Don't they, they get an email to tracking number whenever they, uh, I think so. It well, he just says it says it's in transit or something. Uh, why is there so many ponds in our area? I think it's for a couple different reasons. One, our train, uh, uh, yeah, Ed, full, uh, yeah, you do have a video posted on it, Ed. Uh, anyways, my old ruck, my old power rake, I sold to Ed at Full Tail Grading. I did some work to it. If you guys seen in that video, so uh, if you guys want to see it in action, go check out Ed's channel. Ed's got an absolutely awesome channel. And on top of that, Ed's just a good guy. Ed and Brandon over there, Full Tail Grading, they do some really cool, um, they do some really cool uh, utility work. I guess would be the best way to describe it, wouldn't it, Ed? So. Uh, yeah, guys, we uh, hopefully they said they're not upset with you. They're upset with USPS. I we, know, but I hate that you out. haven't gotten your stuff yet. We try to get it out in a timely fashion. I'll be honest with you guys. You kind of overran us a little bit there for Black Friday. Yes, we got Black a lot Friday, of orders. a couple days before uh, that and after, it was madness. But uh, and we our, our inventory has been. So that is awesome. Greatly appreciate, uh, really appreciate that. But to, back to answer the uh uh, back to answer that. So Chris answered one reason we have a lot of livestock in our area. And we don't have a lot of city water. So the ponds uh, are for livestock and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people use them for recreation and fishing. But the main reason I think we have a lot of ponds in our area is we got a lot of clay dirt. So they hold water well and the terrain allows for a lot of them. And they're somewhat inexpensive to build. So it, it, a lot of times it's cheaper to build a pond than it is to put an in-ground pool in. So um, that's why we have a lot of ponds in our area. You know, like down in Texas when we were down there with Muddy Feet and Cowboy, you know, they got a lot of sand down there. I, that's got to be difficult to build a pond in there and get it to hold water. So um, our uh, our train was is what um, our train is probably what allows for most of them. Uh, how do you find Logger Wade's Axeman episodes? I believe if you go to the History Channel and search Axeman Reborn, uh, they are in episode three through ten, I believe. Uh, they're not in the first two episodes, but they're in the third episode on. Uh, so go, um, if you guys want to see Wade on Axeman, oh, go check that out. <laughs> RB says, just FYI, shipping is crazy. I've been tracking mine, and it's making a U.S. tour. Oh, Upstate Brush Control, what's up, buddy? How are you? Hope everything's good over there in North Carolina. Uh, he's got an awesome channel. He destroys trees Who? and lots of them. Up, upstate Brush Control. Oh. Okay, I didn't hear that. I was reading some other comments oh, when you were so talking. You get sidetracked. At least you're not yawning no more. I'm glad we woke you up, guys. I'm trying. Yes, there will be um, shirts with pockets coming eventually. Yes. Yes. That's probably the next shirt idea. So. Yeah, we're going to go after after the first of the year. We'll probably revamp DirtPerfect1.com with some new inventory. Once we name the truck, we'll probably make some videos or make some shirts with the truck. I never even thought about doing a Simon's Concrete Excavating shirt. 
Um, mm. <laughs> uh, their devil, uh, dirt devil dog trucking talking to me, Andrew Cranes. I'm not for sure. I must be. Uh, when she move a man, how are you? What's up? How you doing? Uh, did uh, Logger Wade meet Buck and Billy Ray? So Logger Wade and Buck and Billy Ray are actually pretty good friends. And believe it or not, they have never met in person. They have had intentions of meeting several times, uh, but it's just never actually, uh, it's just never actually worked out. So um, Tony, I did. I just seen your order come through. Thanks, buddy. Greatly appreciate that. See, uh, M MCF Welding said he'd buy a Simon shirt. Where do you see that? Right there. Oh, yes. Okay. So, well, uh, Tech and Gaming, appreciate that. Thank you very much. But, honestly, uh, I don't even know if we have a logo for that anymore. Simon C &E. yeah. yeah, we'd have to come up with We'd something. have to come up with it. We probably, way. honestly, we haven't, like, I haven't even had a Simon's Concrete Excavating shirt for probably 10 years. Well, you started that when we first got married back in 07. Yeah. And, Three years after that, you started yeah. Simon and Harris. So we didn't get Simon Cini. Simon's Concrete and Excavating. See, Neil said he'd be the same, be the first customer for a Simon's Concrete and Excavating hoodie. Uh, uh -huh. Did we design our Dirt Perfect logo? No, actually, I got a really good friend uh, that's a graphic designer, and uh, we um, he, we got with him. He actually did my intro with the bulldoze and the Dirt Perfect. Did and, you change uh, that yet? No, it's it. There's actually a different intro in some upcoming videos, oh. but it's not. Uh, uh, but machine, anyways, he came up with your dirt perfect logo. Machine Mover Man was in Terre Haute all week. You should have come and helped me out, man. I wish I. You're up there in Hoover territory. Hoover lives. Uh, Officer Hoover lives just north of Terre Haute. So, hate that I uh, hate that I miss you, dude. Andrew, uh, new subscriber, been a lot of catching up. Appreciate that. Welcome to the channel, buddy. Glad you glad you made it over to the live feed and caught up with us. Uh, I get that a lot. I think that's a, I think that's a pretty big, um, how do I say this, compliment to the channel is we'll see somebody that subscribes on one of the more current videos I post, and then I'll see them comment on a bunch of old videos. I just think it's pretty cool you guys like going back and watching some of the other videos, so I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> did, Thank you, you did you read what SOT put? No. Can you do a Dirt Perfect with Simon's upside down underneath Dirt Perfect so we know who's on top? <laughs> I thought we were going to do a Mr. And Mrs. Dirt Perfect and do that. No. So I got who'd be on top. We're not having this conversation. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we man. have a shirt with a super stick on it. Go um, to dirtperfectone.com and you can buy one. Russell, what, uh, Russell's got a good question. That's one thing we're going to try to get figured out next year, and I don't know how we're going to do it, is international shipping. Yes, um, I apologize out. to all. We get a lot, a lot of requests from you guys overseas in Canada and South, and I, and I apologize. Um, but we will. It's kind of baby steps. We'll step our way into it. We'll get her figured out. Simon's uh, Concrete does not have a website. The only website we have is DirtPerfectOne.com. Yeah, for the longest time, it was the website was uh, Simon Harris Construction, which was the name of our construction business. That one has been shut down, and now the only website I got is uh, DirtPerfectOne.com. So, uh, what were you uh, talking about before that? What's this guy's name? Amped. Amped. I guess. Um, awesome, buddy. Open it up in your own business this year. Best of luck to you, buddy. You, if you got hard work and dedication, you'll be successful. It won't all be. It won't all be sunshine and rainbows, but. Uh, uh, Greg, we do not have any camouflage merchandise currently. Um, we do have some cool hats coming in. Yes, yeah. But we those got some... probably won't be here till January because we kind of got a late start on them and got had the idea later than we anticipated. Uh, so they're going to be super cool, but we'll let you know when those come in. MC, MCF Welding, who is Harris. Harris was my business partner. We just posted a podcast with him. Talking about our relationship, I think I just posted a link in the comments there. I hope that's the right link. Um, if you want to, click on that link click over that, there. Click, the button there. click on that link and head on over there and check that out, and that will answer that. It's, it's kind of a long story, to be honest with you. Um, 
Here's a shirt with a Mac on the 120 on. You know what? I actually took a picture today. Um, let me show you this picture. I thought it was a pretty cool picture. I need to post it somewhere. Oh, James. Yes. You're okay. Hey, check that just out. Said... Uh, hold on. Hold on. It's the 120 on the Mac. We're going on a road trip tomorrow, boys and girls. We okay. are going on a road trip. James, where to go? Australians can create Australia Post account and have them ship via Oregon. Yep, we've done that. Yes, we did it for him. Oh, yeah. Is that who we did it for? I'm pretty sure. We've yeah. done it for a few other ones. And somebody one. else um, that was from overseas got their ship to California um, and then got to them somehow. Watch where you're But that was their on. doings, not my doings. Yeah, as of right now, you guys have to provide uh, a U.S. address. But a lot of these people overseas are finding that they are their post office has like a PO box here in the states, so we can ship it to the the state side PO PO box, and then their their post office will take it from there, basically. Yeah, right? something something like yeah. that. I don't know. They got it, so. Uh, yeah, Jeff. We've already talked about this. I did end up buying the AM. Right back. Um. Um, I did end up buying the AMI Ruckus Rake. I sold the Harley Rake to uh, I hold I sold the Harley Rake to Ed from Full Tilt Grading, which is in the comments. So uh, if you guys want to see it, you can just still get over there and check it out. Jason, I did not I did not buy the 120 new. I bought the 120. I got a few videos on this. Um, I bought the 120. It had about six thousand hours on it. I've had it for about seven years or so. Uh, so yeah. Miss SOT, what's up? How are you this evening? Miss Dirt Perfect had to leave me to go check on a kid, I guess. I don't know. Kind of they're fighting in the house. So uh Travis, the elbow is good. I am pretty much, I'd say 98% back to normal every once in a while. It uh it uh it, yeah, it, it, it gave me a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Let's Dig a little bit about uh Doug. Uh, let's dig a little bit about uh Shipping international is so difficult. Like if I was just shipping to Canada or if I was just shipping to Mexico or if I was just shipping to England, um, it would be easy. But whenever you're shipping to Australia and all of them, you basically got to set up all the rules and all the inputs for each one. And then, oh, it's giving me gray hair. It's just thinking about it. And I hate it. Uh, so, uh, uh, Ed, full tilt grading. I am actually heading two hours north of home base here with the uh, puppy dog and the old 120. And we are going to dig a basement for my roommate from college. My roommate from college is building a new house. And I told him I'd head up there and help him uh, help him dig the basement. I was going to take the Volvo, but I was just too lazy to go pick it up at Farmer Chris's. So I'm just going to take the 120. Good times. It'll be the first basement I've dug with the 120 in a while. So it's uh, we got, uh, got her all fixed up. And... Uh, Ready to go. So, uh, best podcast, I mean, Miss SOT, what I miss. Oh, yes. Uh, so, Miss SOT, well, we did talk about this a little bit earlier in the uh, earlier in the deal here, but uh, while we were in Florida, we recorded several podcasts uh, one with Farmer Chris, one with Officer Hoover, and the best one out of the bunch was with Ed, or not Ed, gosh dang it, Jeff, Muddy Feet Concrete Pumping. <laughs> there is a. Uh, there's a lot to Jeff that I don't think most of us realized. And Miss SOT, I hope you're successful on eBay finding uh, said item because uh, that would be absolutely awesome. But uh, yeah, man, the the podcast, well, the podcast with all three of them was awesome, but the podcast with uh, Jeff was incredible. So that podcast probably won't be out till sometime in uh, probably will be out till sometime. Uh, if I had to guess, middle of January, somewhere in there. So, uh, what engines in the Mac? My my truck has a 350 Mac E Tech engine. It maybe has a little bit of a horsepower upgrade on it, slightly. Barry, how you doing? Um, yeah, we were in Texas, not Florida. You must have said you were in Florida. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, Dana, 988. Yeah, my truck is not a, a thoroughbred bulldog. It has the Mack engine, the Mack rear ends, but it does not have the Mack transmission. I love Mack engines. I love um, Mack rear ends. I'm not a big fan of Mack transmissions. So uh, it... Um, 
Yeah. Uh, Your chairs. Are you trying to kick me over? No, we, we got interlocked there somehow. Oh, no, we can't have that. What? Um, anyways. You're getting yourself sidetracked. I know. So. I'm always sidetracked. Yeah, in full tilt grading, two hours is normal drive for you. You know, that used to be somewhat normal for us, but I've gotten down to where I try really hard not to work much more than about an hour from the house. I really try to stay about a half an hour away from the house. We live in a pretty rural area, so that's not always. Um, KO, yes, the bandages were in the exact same spot that I told them it was in. Oh, uh, boy, are we back to this? It is. I even went up there and looked and took a picture of it and sent it to Matt after the fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, Farmer Chris has got my Volvo, so I'm stuck with the old Brinkley 120 tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the Mac doesn't have an 8LL transmission. It's actually just got a nine-speed Eaton Fuller, and um, it's got a pretty low, first, or pretty low low. Um, there's a couple times it maybe be nice to have a lower gear in the 8LL, but it, it it's geared pretty good. It, it it does pretty good. I do love having the 8LL in the dump truck. Uh, Farmer Chris can attest to the job we did for him Friday. Uh, we didn't know the torque the truck had. I about killed it in reverse going across the a fill. It was pretty spongy. <laughs> but we made it. Cool chill. Um, Is there anything you can't do? Hmm. Yes, I cannot sing. You can't clean house yeah. either. Oh, I can clean house. I just choose not to do that. What? I, I uh, don't think you know how. Uh, it's all good, Dan. What about the camper? No camper in our future, folks. There There's your answer. Uh, well, I love when you involve your children, watch them grow up. Yeah, uh, the kids are actually on her channel more than they're on my channel. I got us a couple videos coming with Gunner and and uh, you know Joy Squirrel. We did uh, Miss Sot or or Chris. Did you guys get that shirt for for a longer way? Uh, I can't dance either, KO. Yeah, you got that one too. Uh, paperwork. He cannot do paperwork. I can do paperwork. I just choose not to do it too. <laughs> Hi, Captain. This is the first time I've seen your name pop up. How's oh, it, it is going? Captain. It is Captain. How's Captain this evening? I think Captain's on shift tonight. Uh, Doug, yes. I worked at a Mac dealership for two years, basically. Um, that was a good experience. I covered that in one of our. Uh, oh, you did get it, Miss SLT. They got, uh, remind me to tell you about the shirt they got for Wade. Okay. That's a good one. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, SLT Squirrel. gave it away. So they found a shirt. We we're down at what was the name of that? Uh, what was the name of that? Um, what was the name of that place we stopped at? Like Juckies or Bucky's? It was Bucky's. It was like this truck stop. I guess they're big in Texas, and they got like they're a mall. It's like a mall of a truck stop. And uh, I think it was Farmer Chris was telling me they seen a shirt in there and it had squirrel real big across it. And they got it for Wayne for Christmas. <laughs> what is Mrs. Dirt Perfect's channel? Mrs. Dirt Perfect. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can search um, search Mrs. Dirt Perfect. So I'm trying to keep up with comments, guys. Here they're flying in. I did have a link. Actually, Mrs. Dirt Perfect Mrs. Dirt Perfect's channel is linked in the description of this video. So if you guys want to go find. Uh, Bucky's, yeah. If you guys want to go, um, if you guys want to go check out the uh, description of this video, you'll find Mrs. Dirt Perfect and the podcast channel in there as well. So, real quick before I forget and we get off here, um, update on the YouTube meet and greet. Unfortunately, with everything, oh man, Dirt okay. Boss and Masonary says six by six truck name. Simon says no. I like it. No. I like it. That cannot be the name of your I truck. I like it. No. I like it, Dirt Balls. No. I like it. No. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's in the running. No. Whose not. truck is it? It's my truck. Uh, let me just say, if Works Law has anything to do with it, that truck name is not going to be so well, me tell either. You, let me tell you, Works Law's name is not on the title. It's not. My name is. Actually, Simon's Concrete Next Lady is, but... Uh, yeah, uh, Swamp Driver Outdoors, that video will be coming up. Let me just tell you in here. The video, 1219. 1219. That video of the GoPro being lost is actually a pretty cool video because I tell you guys some stuff that I never told you before in that video. So um, 
Yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> captain. What's Captain say? That way, when I wreck it, you can say <laughs> Simon didn't say. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, is that a video I need to watch? No. Why are you saying that? You don't need to watch that video. Why? No. Why? Because I said so. I'm your boss. Well, bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> what day didn't you just say, guys? What's the day? <laughs> Hey Paul, thank you. So anyways, I keep getting sidetracked, but uh um, when did you say it? I can't understand. I can't understand these notes. <laughs> oh thank you, Alan. Appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying this channel as well. Andrew's got a pretty cool channel, but we are not going to be able to do the YouTube meet and greet in March just with the virus and everything going on. We don't want to put a whole bunch of, uh, put a whole bunch of, uh, continue on. Thanks. Look at all these guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so anyways, we're going to put, we're going to have to postpone the YouTube meet and greet. I'd, I'd like to think we can maybe do it in the fall, but you guys are just going to stay tuned. Stay tuned to my social media. Stay tuned to uh, YouTube. I'll keep everybody updated, I promise. Um, just too much going on. And um, too much going on. I, it's just, I hate to put a whole bunch of effort into it. A bunch of people make travel plans. And then I know people are going to be leery about traveling and then it not happening. So um, we're, gonna, we're just going to we're just gonna kick it off here for a little bit. I push it off a little bit and um, see what happens. So I, I'm as disappointed as anybody, guys. I was really, really, really looking forward to, really looking forward to doing that, and it just it don't seem like. Uh, oh, Swamp Diver says I think that video got him in the feels. What's that mean? Oh, got y'all feeling all. Well, you should know what that video is about. I know what it's probably about. I just. Yeah. That's why I want to watch it. Because you know where I was at. I know. That's why I want to watch it. You don't need to watch it. Am I going to have to delete this video so you don't watch it? No, that's why I want to watch this it. This is that's not for you I... to watch. It's for them to watch. Yeah, but the wife can watch too. You post it for everyone. Yeah, to watch. poor Captain Gleeman. He got uh, he got blamed for a broken mirror on the Volvo. And uh, come to find out, I think I may have broke that mirror. Actually, let me rephrase that. I passed a school bus on a narrow county road, and the guy following me claims that the – what are you looking at me like that for? I'm listening. So I, I passed a school bus. I gave the school bus plenty of room, and I think a limb of a tree smacked the mirror, and that's what ended up broken it. We really don't know for sure, but that's the – actually, the guy I was working for was following us, Donnie Frelick, and uh, he said it. he said it's seen that happen, so – um, can't blame Captain Cleman on that one, but uh, he did direct the low boy driver, so I'll pull out that <laughs> Sorry, Captain. Mm. Uh, yeah, man, SOT Metalworks, uh, huge, huge shout out to Muddy Feet Concrete Pumping. Man, he treated us like kings and queens while we were in Texas, or kings and a queen because Miss SOT was the only girl down there, but uh, man, we uh. It was colder than a well digger's hind end. You we keep repeating that. I'm telling you, it was cold in Texas. I mean, it was cold. But uh, we had a good time. I did get a pump some concrete. Um, you have to see how that turned out. It was a little rough. But yes, we found the GoPro. Yep. Uh, go over to Miss Dirt Perfect's channel. Her channel is linked in the description. Full video on finding the GoPro. Look, guys, right here it is. Yep. It has been found. We got a super cool little uh, yes. metal detector yes. gifted to I us. Haven't, uh, I and haven't uh, turned it on to see if it works, though. I guess we can do that. Yeah. Stand by. Look, we're going to turn it on right here live on YouTube to see if she still works. I lost the lens for it. Is she going to do anything? Oh, I think she's dead, folks. The good news, we found it. Where is the lens at? <laughs> All right, we'll try a different battery. It's the battery. I'm sure it's the battery. Yeah, we'll see if it works. Here we go. All the faith in the world in this battery. Oh, I got a flashy light. Hey, tomorrow, are you digging the hole or are you going back to concrete? Oh! Farmer Chris wants to know. It's alive! 
Why is it like that? The color? Oh. SD card's full. That's the only reason. You no, know the SD card's full. It's probably sat there. I bet you on this SD card is a whole bunch of video of us walking over top of it looking for it. Oh, that wouldn't be cool to look to see how close <laughs> we actually were the first time to see. But yeah. You have to go through there and look. Look at that. Still works, guys. I'd love to know how close we actually were to it without. Still works. It was already cracked before I lost it, so that has nothing to do with that. But. Uh, no, I'm just, uh, we're just digging the hole tomorrow. I'm not going back and doing footers. Uh, Farmer Chris knows where I got to be. Uh, Farmer Chris knows where I got to be at on uh, Monday. So I'm going to be back for that on Monday. Uh, yeah, my SD card's in good shape. I haven't downloaded it on the we'll computer yet. But... He says any night critters on the footage. We'll have to check. Uh, yeah, I doubt it because I doubt it. Uh, the battery on it was somewhat dead whenever I was recording. So um, I doubt I got anything anything good on there so um so well guys i hate to do this but i think we're gonna have to wrap this one up we've been yakking for a while thanks miss sot what she's saying she said i did a good job finding that gopro did you have any part of finding the gopro yes i got gifted the metal detector so if i hadn't got gifted the metal detector you would not have found your gopro <laughs> And I filmed it, so yes, oh. I did. Full video, this is their perfect to finally go for them. So, Money Feet Concrete Puppet, I don't know if you heard us earlier, but thanks thanks a million for the hospitality while we were down there. We had a blast while we were down there. I wish you could have turned the heat up for us, but I'm not going to complain. I did get my second video edited of me actually pumping concrete. Feel free to tell everybody how horrible of a job I did. It. Uh, they won't see it for two months, so. It'll be up probably towards the end of January. That's not quite two months. Okay. Well, but, but guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Everybody super chatted. Huge, huge thanks to them. Yeah. Uh, Jared. Of course, Captain Kenneth Lehman can borrow the metal detector. <laughs> he needs it. I told Kleeman whenever we found my GoPro, I said all the comments on your channel was, we go let Captain Kleeman borrow it now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, oh man. You know, I've only. I have not lost any cameras now because I found the one camera I lost, but I do have a collection of broken cameras that haven't fared so well over time. So anyways, but uh, that's going to be a wrap. I got to go. Uh, I got to get to bed. I got to get up early, early in the morning, hit the road, dig a basement, me and the old, me and the old trusty 120. And that's so. right. Mrs. SOT. Mrs. SOT says I get the credit because my machine did the work. Neil says he still wants uh, Simon's concrete excavating hoodies. I'll see what I can do. So, uh, thanks Barry, for watching. Guys. Uh, Barry, buddy, no, you did nothing wrong. I, I apologize if I miss you guys in the comments. It's uh, I came through pretty quick on our end. So, yeah, uh, yeah uh, we'll be posting a new podcast on the uh, channel tomorrow. A few points from Perfect. I think it's about energy efficient homes. So if you guys want to go over and check out that on energy efficient homes, uh, go check it out. And um, guys, appreciate you hanging out this evening. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Yeah.